go with Sir Malcolm Campbell to the motor show. The motor show is held again this year at Earl's Court and the Duke of Kent, who is himself a keen driver, comes to open it. Features of the show are light cars made larger, of which there are examples in several makes, and more economical petrol consumption. Independent front wheel springing is becoming more general and the open car is growing in popularity. Among such cars, there's a move for protection of rear seat passengers. While if you prefer a good but drafty view of the scenery, well, here you are. Caravans have responded to the demand for economy and there are models which can be towed by a baby car. But there are also luxury models fitted with gas stoves, hot and cold water and all modern conveniences. George Easton was there, just returned from recapturing the land speed record, and Lord Nuffield, who voices his confidence in British cars. Speaking of the motor show about to be opened, I think it can be said that British cars are equal, if not better, than any in this world. A little lady called Judy Shirley, whom you may know, tries her hand at the reaction machine, and the police exhibit generally attracted a lot of interest. And now let's transfer one of the exhibits to the track at Weybridge and test its performance.